welcome friends uh, in this session i will be explaining the basic idea of trip circuit what is a trip circuit and what is a tripping coil so we will start with the definitions of these items so what is a basically a trip signal so trip unit is a part of circuit breaker that opens the circuit in the event of thermal overload short circuit ground fault or it could be like over voltage under voltage over frequency and frequency uh, etc an open circuit will not conduct electricity because either air or some other insulator has stopped or broken the flow of current in the loop so what does it mean is uh, circuit breaker is uh, each circuit breaker has a trip unit it's all called an interrupter interrupter is coming from the name interrupt this interrupter unit has uh, two contacts one is fixed contact one is moving contact and when it receive a command from the relay uh, basically uh, it opens and uh, command uh, the, the fault or the quantity is sensed by the relay for example it could be over voltage under voltage over current under current and if the value of sensing quantity is less or more depending on the protection then the set value then uh, it uh, issues the trip command and interrupter opens uh, secondly uh, we will discuss trip coil trip coils are the release components in circuit breakers used in energy distribution for the switching of high currents it is their task to interrupt fault current voltages so that downstream systems are not damaged trip coil triggering solenoid initiates this separation mechanism so basically there are two parts one is a tripping circuit uh, which is which is carrying the signal from the relay to the trip coil trip coil is a solenoid and when it is energized it has a, a latch in it and this latch uh, uh, it has a solenoid and this solenoid is hitting the latch uh, of the of the spring and when it's hit the mechanism is released and the breaker is strips finally so we will see this these things in detail in in a simulation so here i have shown a simplified a very simplified trip circuit diagram so here you can see this is the bus bar uh, which is shown by a thick line then you can see a circuit breaker is shown and when the circuit breaker is closed the power is feed to the line and this is the current transformer name as ct and when the no, there is a normal uh, load current there will be a less current sensed by the ct and this is basically is showing a sensing device which is a relay so when there is a fault there will be a huge current flowing because it is a short circuit so it will energize this coil and ultimately it will operate its contact <coughs> when the contact is operated you can see this is a dc supply so this dc will be forwarded to the strip coil the strip coil has a latch mechanism and then again it will open the breaker open the interrupter unit and you can see this is called as this these wires these are called a strip circuit this is a dc supply and this is the tripping coil so this is the very very basic uh, simplified trip circuit later uh, i especially i will show you how real trip circuit look like in schematics so you can develop your co concepts here and later on once your concepts are developed you can move to the more advanced drawings in the later so how tripping and closing coil look like this is uh, it is shown uh, basically it's a coil a solenoid and this uh, uh, part 
metallic part of the solenoid it is hitting the latch mechanism and once it is energized it is hitting and spring is and once it's de-energized it's the spring is keeping the solenoid back so this is basically the very basic concept now in the next section uh, you will see a simulation in which i will be showing how the circuit breaker is charging and uh, circuit breaker spring closing spring is charging and tripping spring is charging and how the coils are releasing the latch mechanism thank you very much